Hello and welcome to the channel and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So in the last episode, we were trying to find out who an alderman was. And now we've got the paper, we're heading back to this priest. Oh, you must try my ears. Rest from rattling skulls. Rattling bones. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What do you know, Basil? We could kidnap someone close to him we could take him are you hiding something Bathen? there is a lumber mill nearby correct Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex and uses our forests to do so the mill provides his wood Tedmund is there impossible how do you know I heard rumors that Tedman had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty... You shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. All right. Pay well for my catch. To catch an alderman. Don't you believe in Jesus? They refrain. Over here. I'm wary of this abbot vessel. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect... I want the black horse. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The scorpion and the frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes. Many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. <laughs> oh, the donkeys! I was wondering what they were. Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will... Be my eyes, Zunin. Bemisfield is just ahead. Okay, we're gonna go on incognito. Is it close to a river? Tell me it's close to a river. No. 
I will follow. What do you see, Sunan? Okay, so he's in the This chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulkin. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. We will be here anymore. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. take out this guy and we'll take out that guy oh we've got some skills we'll spin those real quick what was the skill I was after oh that one Off limits. Catawalling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your thing. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way but only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent, for silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. <laughs> What's that say? Target must be on the ground. <laughs> Place. Okay, Halt, let's see what Danes, in the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I, I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? 
is dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's Priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. Uh, you will get us. There's only one path. Perhaps I should... Yeah, we can you'll... use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let, let me think. Oh, Danes, T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. Um, do what you want with him. Do what you want with him. I won't risk our plan on the shambling of this fool. Come, Brother Shergar. And perhaps today would be the time to consider a vow of silence? An army of Danes is all we need to take the fortress. Let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Basim. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will. And harder still to convince them that they are firmly in control. Shergar was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? Perhaps, perhaps not. I do not presume to. Are you Show me. Perhaps, perhaps not. I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief a meeting. His prattle was sad and ugly, like a weeping babe. You have little patience for chittering squirrels. And yet, I allow. We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved. Whatever the cost. You're back. Very well. And yet, I allow you to squeak in my ear along all the roads and byways of Kent. Because you are wise, and you see the same qualities in me. That must be it. We are nearing the camp. What? Let us hope there. Oh, Let us free you, festering camper on the South Ars! <laughs> Boom. Boom. Come at me. Come at me. Boom. We said other one. And stomp. Okay, that was a little excessive. Just a little. Is there anything here that we can take? No. What about the rations? What happened? Oh, there we go. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now is your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester. And drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? 
Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenifotshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? Oh, and awesome. what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. Oh, this is gonna be cool. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Red. For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly, even now. I am sorry, Asim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. trust with anything can take everything he took all I had all I had okay so we had a son at one point Man Rusesta behind will the not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Okay, we got another two points. Let's sink them into this. We'll quickly see where we're going. Okay, so that's the blockade there, that's the fortress. Okay, so we're not too far away from it. We'll just take the horse. Yeah! Thank you. 
with the help from. Uh, we're going to have like three armies attacking that, including us. So there should be ropes, is it? Okay, so it's past this bridge. So we'll call the horse again. Yeah! I feel like they destroyed that bridge on purpose. Attack on site here. Let's go, up the king. It's the South Vikings. There we go, we got him eventually. Oh, we got the blockade key from him, he must have been the commander. Alright, so it's up here. Clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. Oh, I get it. There we go, that makes sense. One of our people are down. We'll quickly go and heal them. My thanks. Oh, he's down, he's down. Go. So now we should be able to go in here and break the chain. Chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. 
<laughs> Why are you guys all just chilling out here? Okay, where do we go now? Regroup with your allies. <laughs> now they're 300 meters this way. Someone else shit. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? I'm ready. Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole. Mm. Mm. <sighs> okay, let's get ready. Breach the gates. I'm just going to try to climb up this.
Okay, we'll keep moving up. Come brothers, let's end this. So badly. Let's try climbing up here. Are you serious? much without arrows. Please tell me there's some up here. Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay, let's, let's just try our best to sneak past these people and just open the gate. open. Keep going! Inside! They have to keep sealed tight down here. Anymore. Then you must look higher up their way inside. Oh, 
why isn't he wearing dying I feel great. Keep moving up. Even higher. I'll kill you before I let you take this fortress. Ruth is the will not fall to you, rabid pack of mongrels. <laughs> okay, we'll try that again, eh? Come at me. Assault complete. You dare to take this fortress, Dean? Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Okay, I'm very interested to see how this will go. Or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. <laughs> Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane. I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me. Nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men, for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor. Enough. I'll return you to the Saxons. Oh. <clears throat> you there, heathens. Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them what they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum. 
that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! Is he having a heart attack? Is dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Okay, let's go speak with Gildrich. You fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. I should be cautious around here. Cast about this lad, my friend. Okay, two more points. A lot of arrows to pick up. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, back to the... We'll cook quickly sort out our skills though. Can we finally get this? Yep. Warrior takedown. Pull your adrenaline. Sprint bash. Battlefield cremation. Terror. Heavy build. Oh. Perfect attack. Seems like something they'll be good going after next. Should have like four adrenaline bars. Oh no, still three. Okay, let's head to the abbot. I have a feeling he's going to try to cheat us. It is too quiet here. Where are the brothers? Or the abbot's men? Say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. 
Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Ah. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. They will go up. Down. Full Kay let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd. My brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. Travel to Canterbury. Okay, we're going to end it here, guys. If you like this episode, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.